Formula One will feature two Grand Prix in Austria this year. The races will take place in the Red Bull Ring, located in the southeastern Austrian state of Styria. The first race, referred to as the Styrian Grand Prix, will take place on June 27th. The second race will be held on July 4th and will be referred to as the Austrian Grand Prix. In this video, we will recap the thrilling French Grand Prix and look ahead to the top five things to watch for in the upcoming Styrian Grand Prix. Let's get started. This year's French Grand Prix featured a strategy battle for the top four positions. Mercedes and Red Bull seemed to be equally matched in pace, but Red Bull won the strategy battle. Max Verstappen was able to overtake Lewis Hamilton in the closing laps of the race with fresher tires, having gone for a two-stop pitch strategy. Sergio Perez did not have a good start to the race, but by going long on his first stint, he was able to use his fresher tires at the end of the race and take third place from Valtteri Bottas who was struggling on his tires. The midfield battle was also fun to watch. Lando Norris delivered another solid performance with a P5 finish, and Daniel Ricciardo was back in form, finishing P6. Pierre Gasly continued his impressive form, finishing in P7, and Aston Martin continued their momentum from Azerbaijan, with Vettel finishing in P9 and Stroll finishing P10. Heading into the second race of the triple header, here are five things to watch for. Can Mercedes take the fight to Red Bull? It seems strange to say, but Mercedes don't look like they're the championship favorite after the race in France. There are three reasons why I believe this is the case. Red Bull seems to have a car that can match Mercedes on all types of circuits. France was a circuit that should have favored Mercedes, but from watching the race we can see that this was not the case. Red Bull has proven that their car has solid pace and consistent performance. Red Bull's driver lineup. Max Verstappen has matured a lot over the years and seems poised and ready to win the championship this year. Reliability issues that plagued Red Bull in previous seasons seem to have been resolved this year. Max and his car seem in sync for a championship run. Verstappen's teammate Sergio Perez has proven that he's a solid driver for Red Bull. His pace and presence in the race, I believe, will force Mercedes into strategy mistakes at key moments that could give Red Bull the upper hand. In addition, he's also a team player, so it's unlikely we'll see the Hamilton-Rosberg type incidents between Max and Sergio. Pit stops. With such a tight fight for both the Constructors' and Drivers' Championship, every second counts. Red Bull has demonstrated that they have consistent and fast pit stops. In addition, the team has a talented crew of mechanics. In the 2020 Hungarian Grand Prix, Max went off the track before the race and suffered some damage to the car. His mechanics were able to repair the car within 20 minutes and allow him to race. He ended up finishing the race in P2. Red Bull's superior support staff could make the difference in this year's championship. Is Sergio Perez the difference maker? Sergio Perez versus Valtteri Bottas will be an interesting battle to watch for the rest of the season. If Perez can consistently finish ahead of Bottas in the upcoming races, that will definitely help Red Bull win the championship this year. Bottas is a strong driver in Austria, having won a race here last year. It will be interesting to see if Sergio can finish ahead of Valtteri this weekend. Can Ferrari return to form? Ferrari had a tough time in France, with both cars finishing out of the points. Carlos Sainz was P11 and Charles Leclerc was only P16. This result suggests that Ferrari's pace was exclusive to the street circuits, where maybe they had an advantage in the slower corners. It'll be interesting to see if the Scuderia can come back into the points in Austria. Can Aston Martin continue the momentum? Aston Martin had another great race in France, finishing in 9th and 10th. In a post-race interview, Sebastian Vettel mentioned that he could have performed even better than he did, citing driver error for his P9 finish. The team seems to have a strong race car, and I expect another good performance from them in Austria. It will be interesting to see if they can overtake Alpha Tauri in the constructor's standing this weekend. Can Yuki Stenoda deliver? Alpha Tauri driver Pierre Gasly has been very strong this season. He has 37 points compared to Yuki Stenoda's 8 points. While Yuki is only a rookie, his performance is key for Alpha Tauri to move up in the constructor standings. It would be nice to see Yuki Sonoda get a handle on his car and come back into the points this weekend. Who do you think will win the Styrian Grand Prix? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.